Hi, I'm Wesley. Today I want to talk about Virilize Network Insight. So, what is Virilize Network Insight? It's a tooling which provides you in-depth visibility to your network and security. And it also helps you plan your application security on top of your physical and virtual networks. Virilize is also capable of troubleshooting, managing, optimizing and scaling your NSX environments. If you run NSX at this moment, you definitely want to run VRNI as well. But VRNI is not only used where you already have NSX in place. VRNI can be installed in a sort of assessment mode and then you add vSphere as a data source. With that, um, VNI can provide you a, a full detailed report of all the traffic flows in your environment. And with that information, you can decide if NSX is something you need to consider, or if you will benefit from NSX or not at all. There's only one requirement for the vSphere assessment and that is that you are running a VDS, a virtual distributed switch in your VSphere environment. So, which VMware solutions can be monitored with VRNI? Obviously, it can monitor VSphere. Uh, you can monitor uh, VMware Cloud on AWS. You can add NSX T, NSX V as a data source. If you want to have more granular information, for example, you want to see changes in your security groups, then you can integrate VRNI with Virilize Log Insight. VRI has also some third-party support. You can add switches, routers, firewalls, all as a data source into VRI. Uh, of course, these are physical, but also, for example, Cisco ACI can be added. And since the latest release, um, you can also monitor some native AWS stuff with it. For example, um, some EC2 instances. So now, let's talk about the use cases of VRNI. The main use case is uh, micro-segmentation. The second use case is network visibility. Third use case is uh, monitoring of your NSX environment. But you can also monitor vSphere. With pure and I. Uh, both these monitorings comes with 
LTX. And some recommended practices. This is also to highly secure your environment. But you also need to deploy a VNI somewhere. For this, you have two options. You can use VRNI on premises, then you need to deploy two specific VMs which are acting as a proxy and a platform VM in VRNI, or you can choose to use the software as a service solution from VMware, which runs in the VMware cloud. I hope you have now a, a good understanding what VRNI does and what it can do for you. Uh, if you have any questions, Please reach out to me and thanks for watching.